the chums in his eye, Captain Stephen Eggso, and in today's Adventure Chums, we've got an encoded signal that we need to track down and find out what is going on. So yeah, without further ado, oh great, it's 12 minutes away. I ain't freaking walking that. Heck no. Yep, yeah, okay, so let's um, take a quick look. Make sure I am actually on the right mission. I only have the one, so I can't go too far wrong there. Okay, ship him and ship ship. Yeah, because 12, yeah, no thanks. No, definitely going in my ship. Come on then, I know I haven't got much launch for us to fuel though. Let's head on over. Heck yes, let's spin this around. And how, how long is it going to take me in this thing? Oh, it's going to take me still 20 odd seconds. XO, if you wouldn't mind, do a little um, edit. Sweet! So we reconvene and I'm touching down at what looks to be a downed freighter. Wow! A capital massive ship. That is pretty darn sweet. Not so sweet for those that were in it, though, I'd imagine. OK, well, let's uh, interface with what looks like one of those washing machines with the giant red eyeball in that I interfaced with in episode one. Well, log one, I should say. Right, OK, brilliant, yeah. And nestled amongst all of this debris, including, I imagine, the dead, we're going to find ourselves a blueprint. OK, fantastic. And there's a short message as well. But we can we can sort of disregard the message. The anomaly comes from the stars that take flight. Right-ho. OK, anomaly. I've heard the word anomaly a heck of a lot. I think I even got called an anomaly. Yep, in log one. I'm fairly certain of that, in fact. Hyperdrive, blueprint, fantastic. That's in my pocket. Uh, what? I'm one shy on chromatic metal. You're having a frickin' Jeffrey. Seriously? Yeah, I don't think I've got any other copper that I can waz up into. No, I have got no copper. Oh fudge, I'm going to have to go dig up some copper, aren't I? Oh, okay, right. Okay, well, I'll see you guys through the power of editing once I find some copper. Heck yes, see you in a sec. Right, chums, something I got asked is about life support systems. So you see there, I just picked up that harvestable plant. Once you pick it up, if you eat it... I mean, yeah, there's quite a lot to eat. And you can see there the value of it. It's actually, you can actually sell this stuff for quite a lot. So if you're after units, sell it. But if you're on the planet and you're a little bit, you know, up against it, eating this stuff does top up your life support. It doesn't do it in a great deal. It only puts it up a fraction. But these plants are all over the planet. You can find them far more regularly than what you would find like um, the oxygen plants or even the hazardous flora because hazardous flora is another good way of getting oxygen as well just blast the hazardous flora anyway so here we go let's head on over here let's pick this one and i'll show you what i mean so you see there my my um actual uh, life support is about halfway i bet if i munch all of these jade peas that's quite a lot of money's worth of jade peas i'm surprised they sell for so much but here we go let's just let's just munch all of them yummy de yum yum and there we go. I now have a full bar. But obviously, shooting a hazardous plant or getting an oxygen plant is probably the preferred method. And then sell those harvestable plants because you get quite a lot of units for them. Heck yes. Right, well, here I am. And I am um, extracting as much copper as I can from this. Now, you see those gnarly orange boxes that are on everything. If you hit the scanner, it actually puts all these orange boxes on. So you can see what's left to mine and what you've already mined. It's just a nice little tracker of what you can collect because sometimes you can be sitting there mining normal rock face and thinking why am i getting copper that little um orange cuboidy type block thing there you go and activate it again just by pressing down my l3 trigger yeah kaboom and then yeah it lights it up like a christmas tree for me so awesome fantastic nice so yeah i'm just gonna grab all of this as much as i possibly can i'm gonna run out i'm on three percent remaining so I'm just going to keep going until I run out. There we go. I, I, I'm not bothered about the rest. Let's put down my little portable refiner. There it is. Lovely jubbly. And let's just put in some of that copper. In fact, I might as well do the whole stack. Because bases, I think you need 30 of the chromatic metal to put down a base computer. So I wouldn't mind having 30 in surplus. And I think that's about going to... Yeah, that's easily going to do it. I'm going to have quite a fair bit of uh, surplus. I'll have like 88 or something, wouldn't I? Awesome. Fantastic. Because I only need one chromatic metal. <laughs> the fudge right well awesome oh was that a squid ship that just flew over it looked like a no it was two separate ships but that narf i got my heart beating for a second there i thought it was an exotic ship that looked really really cool for a second yeah it wasn't righto so here we are is that done are you nearly done oh yep 95 98 there we go kapow i can't count and let's pick this up fantastic 
Excellent. And that goes into my back pocket. Dun -na 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 -num. Dun -na 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 -num. I can't remember what advert that is now, but every little helps. Awesome. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, that's probably a, an English advert, isn't it? It's only available in, in England. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye bye. Righto, so we're back at ship and uh, it's time to take on off. But uh, first, let's uh, craft whatever I can craft. So let's get into there. Let's put this into there. Right, yeah, microprocessors. Where the heck can I get microprocessors? Exo, any idea, my little chum? You can obtain microprocessors at galactic trade terminals found on the stations or at trading posts. Fantabba dozy! Right, well here we go, we've got a space station locked in, and let's go! Oh yeah, there you go, look at the little um, hint method has just popped up at the bottom. I can get it in space stations, just like Exo just said. Well thank you very much my little cohort, my little AI friend, where would I be without you? Oh yes, and all these guidance messages that pop up in the lower right corner that I'm never patient enough to actually wait for. Right, okay, so here we go, let's uh, touch on down, and spin around and make myself feel a little bit queasy. Here we go, this is the bit that makes me feel queasy. Oh, that makes my belly go over. There we go. And then uh, I'm just going to hop out of the craft. Lickety split. Like a grasshopper at springtime. And let's head on up this ramp. Lovely. And um, where am I going? Oh, yeah. Galactic Trade Terminal. That's where I'm going. I knew I was in the station for a reason. Right, let's go and buy ourselves some microprocessors. Hello there. Galactic Trade Terminal. Right, not on that list. Not there either. Uh, that definitely wasn't on the first list. No, there they are. And I need five of these, thank fudge, because they're expensive. I'm not going to have any units left. I really, in my days, that, that's a lot of work just to get those. Right, okay, fantastic. I've just been robbed. Okay, well, at least I'm going to have a hyperdrive now, which means I'm hoping I can jump and explore other areas of space. That's installed. Heck yes. Done and done again. Fantastic. Let's some. Um, Head on off to my um, ship. Yeah, so I, I think I'm doing fairly good. There we are. Done. Righto. So, Radiant Pillar. We're off. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, all right. Diagnostic. Yes, we've got a hyperdrive. Oh, yeah, we have no fuel. Fudge. Okay, where am I going to get those? Okay, but without warp. Yeah, exactly. I, I was just wondering that myself. Tune scanner to antimatter. Wow. I didn't even know you could tune your scanner. That's pretty darn awesome. Maybe I could tune it into something like Megabucks or something. That'd be cool. No, it's probably not the thing. Righto. Okay, well, let's uh, get that locked in then. Okay, brilliant. We've found an antimatter target trace detected. There it is. Uh, where is it? No, it's down this way. There it is. Excellent. I haven't landed on this planet yet. New planet! And it has a ring to it. Heck yes. Awesome. It's like Saturn. Righto, well we're heading down to the planet. Holy fudge. Okay, well this is unlike any other planet I have come across. Oh, it's got hexagons all over it. Oh, this looks pretty cool. It looks like a little checkerboard game or something. Right, well we're going to land by this building. This building doesn't look like it's had a very good time with things. It's a bit, it's a bit of a mess. Captain Steve, word of advice. Please do not mind the whispering eggs. Righto, well that sounded like a challenge. All right, I'm going to go over to here, because hitting this up, that will actually save things. So yeah, XO, I won't mine the Whispering Eggs. I would heed your advice, I will not mine them. You've got, oh look, someone's already smashed this box open. Well, at least I've got my navigational data. Right, well I didn't say anything about punching the dang things, did I? So I'm going to try punching one of these Whispering Eggs. Yeah? Whisper this, you. Take that. Holy fudge. Look at these cute little guys. Hello. And there's a football. Can we play football? Oh my god, they're freaking ripping me a new one. Oh my days, I'm going to die. I'm going to freaking die. Oh my day. That is not how you play football. Gits. They nearly tore off my limbs. Oh my days. You could have told me why, XO. Not to mind the freaking things. Right, okay, well, let's, uh, let's grab this. Oh, got some units. I need a medical kit. Where the fudge... There's a medical kit. Give me that medical kit. Okay. What do you mean, health restored? No, it freaking didn't look. The bar is still empty. I'm dying. Freaking dying. My pads are vibrating and all sorts. I'm gonna... I'm, oh, okay. Right, my shield's back up. Oh, fine. I'm fine and dandy again. Lovely jubbly. I live to reign another day. Heck yes. I'm not gonna play football with those little critters again. They cheat. They freaking bite. Okay, now what's this? Corrupted terminal. Do I really want to touch this? It's got residual goop on it. Residual goop of what? 
what the heck has slaved its way over this screen? Oh my god. No, I don't want to touch this, but I've got to. Okay, brilliant. Awesome. I'm not having a good time at this building. I, I wish I didn't come here, to be fair. Right, okay. Slime, nevertheless, it appears to function. Great. Um, I'm kind of worried about my own health, though. Crimson Eye, they prints it out. Okay, take the antimatter blueprint. So there's the crim Crimson Eye. It has got that Eye of the Anomaly. Okay. Right, well, that's interesting. Crimson Eye of the Anomaly. What the fudge? And it's, it's given me the blueprint. Awesome. I've got the blueprint for antimatter. I can now make antimatter. This is, this is insane. I mean, what's next? I'm going to build myself a black hole or something. This is craziness. Right, well, let's head on through here. Let's have a look what we can grab in here. Is there anything else that I can muster? Go on and give me some condensed carbon or something. That'd be nice. Yeah, come on. And what have you got in there? Oh, projectile element. I haven't got anything that fires projectiles yet. Okay, what's, what's in this one? Brilliant. Sodium. Yeah, okay, that always comes in handy. Has a protection and that. Brilliant. I love a freebie. Heck yes, I do. Right, so let's have a quick butchers of what I've got here. So let's um, put down my um, refiner. Let's see what I can actually put together in this little safety nook. I don't want to go back outside. Those green guys are going to freaking eat me alive. Okay. Oh, I've got their football. Hopefully they're not going to be too upset about that. In fact, I think it said larval. Have I just stolen one of their babies? Am I the bad guy? I think I'm the bad guy. I just, I just nicked one of their larvae. No wonder they wanted to eat me rather than play football. I, it was an egg. I should have guessed that it was. It's one of their babies, isn't it? Right. Okay. Next time I should listen to Exo's advice. But here we are. Let's um, let's go into here, and let's make our antimatter. Nice. Uh, okay. Now I need to put some. Oh, I need the atom. Uh, okay. I need to find some rocks on a planet that's all hexagonated and I think those things out there I don't think they're made of rock they almost look like plant is there any green guys no they've all gone thank fudge for that okay well let's um have a look see if I can find some rocks on this forsaken planet right no oh here's a rock it's floating in the air it's an anti-gravity rock take this anti-gravity rock heck yes kablowie and another one Oh, that gave me cobalt. Hey, what the fudge? They could... and, and I can't mine these ones. Oh, I can mine that one. It just seems to be... Oh, it's really finicky in what I can mine and what I can't mine. This is going to take me freaking years to find rocks at this rate. Okay, I think I may have enough to craft myself some antimatter housing. Um, oh, there's a creature over there. Let's, um, let's go see what creature frequents a planet like this. Look through the keyhole. Who lives in a house like this? You do! You little sort of weird jellyfishy type creature. Hmm. Well, all the red dots have now turned green. I wonder if that's the only creature that frequents a planet like this. Let's have a quick look, see. In a sec, let's just make that. Oh, and now I can make... Warp cell! Heck yes! Kablowy! Mission complete and Heck yes! Brilliant! I'll be able to... Um, Charge up my uh, warp fuel now, and uh, yeah, I can sail away. Come sail away, come sail away with me. <laughs> yes. Righto. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, just one creature to upload. I've uploaded all creatures. Brilliant. That that netted me some nanites. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to upload everything. Fudge it. Go. Excellent. 27 more nanites received. Few units. Heck. And yes. Awesome. Let's head down to my ship. Jolly milestone accomplished. Nice. Brilliant. Don't know what that was there. I skipped it too quickly. Right into the ship I go. And we're, we're, I'm going to take off. Brill. So I guess now that that's all fully charged up, I should be able to jump to a new area of space. Oh, this is exciting times. Okay, and just you need to stick that in there. Done. And okay. Open up the galactic map, you say. <laughs> Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Okay, brilliant. And uh, let's, um, let's uh, get locked in. Let's, uh, let's see where I can go. Um, I, I, oh, you can unlock it. Okay, excellent. We'll stick to this sort of like orange line that's pointing its way around. Seems like a fair guess. And off we go. And here we are at the Gatana LSF system. Excellent. I should be able to go to see the cartographer in the station. Oh. However, I've got a hyperdrive error. Warp fuel is now depleted. What, you only get one jump? Fudge, that? 
Okay, okay, for searching for a new... Yep. Oh, brilliant, we found some more. I can just craft more, though, can't I? I can just craft more. I'm fairly sure I... Uh, yeah, I just did that. So, okay, fair enough. Well, we're going to get some more free ones, I guess. That's always good. I was going to say I was going to go to the uh, station, though, and see the cartographer and grab some um, awesome maps. It's only there. I could go there. Mm, but then should I just stick to the mission? Yeah, we'll stick with the mission. We'll carry on following the guidance, but I do want to go in that station. I want to see what multi-tools in there. I want to get some cartography maps, and I want to spend some time in a system. I don't want to be jumping all over the place. I want to earn some units. Okay, right, so here we are. We're heading down to this snow-capped weld. Brilliant. Okay, and what's it bringing us down to? Well, it's got a fuel source, but what a beautiful landscape this is. I'm liking the mountain peaks and the clouds. It's very nice for a frosty world. Okay, well, let's uh, head on in. Here we go. Captain Steve, last time you mentioned you was going to visit some knowledge stones, you have yet to learn any of the words of any of the alien races that frequent the actual stations. Jolly good point there, Exo. Yeah, I will try to make more of an effort when it comes to learning the lingo of the alien races. Um, come to think of it, I'm going to have to sit you down at some stage, Exo, and uh, understand what these alien races are. Oh, look, there's one of those knowledge stones that you've just been blabbering on about. Okay, well, let's see if we can interact with it. It did have a marker a second ago. Where's it freaking gone? Okay, let's go around this way. Let's try. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's gone again. There it is. What was that? Visions of the Gek. He he he. Voi voi voi. What the heck? Okay, brilliant. I think these ones are the little sort of amphibious type looking guys that look like turtles on the space station. Right, the name Gek floats into my vision. Yeah, I think these are the ones. They, they sort of had that sort of vibe about them. Right, okay, brilliant. So I'm learning Gek words now. I've learned the word for friend. Uh, maybe I could be friend of Gek. That'd be cool. Radio. And the word for the. Oh, and there's some birdies I can scan, which is always good for earning units and nanites or whatever. Right, brilliant. Lovely. Okay, well, before I interact with this pad, I'm thinking to myself, chums, I should maybe make a save, just in case something crazy happens. Let's uh, jump in and jump back out. Oh, look at that creature. What the heck is that? Oh my days, that is pretty damn gnarly. I want to scan that. Oh look, there's a yellow badge there over in the background. Oh, okay, well, that might be something awesome, like buried tech or buried bones or something, rather than just the normal data caches. Right, okay, so I did mention earlier about oxygen plants and how to keep your life support up. So this is an oxygen-rich plant, which I'm going to grab. And over here, I'm fairly sure I saw a marker when I was scanning. The yes, look, there's hazardous flora right there. You can actually pick something from the hazardous floor. If you get close enough to it, you can swipe something before it bites you, which gives you more oxygen. But I just tend to zap them. Just zap them, and you get a load of oxygen. Lovely jubbly. Well, you, if you manage to grab it and then zap them, you get twice as much. But there you are. Anyway, I'm going to head on over here, and I'm going to hit this up, and we're going to see what happens. So here we are. Okay, hello there, knowledge type stone. Big one. Yeah, this is unlike anything I've encountered before. It's definitely alien. My thoughts exactly. Brilliant. Fragments of another broken language. Is it traveller? Is it friend? I'm going to go for friend. Yeah, I've just learnt the Gek word for friend. Heck yes. Well, okay, I feel... Okay, righto. Right. Yeah, I'm kind of overwhelmed by all this as well. I mean, I'm talking to an alien stone. Is it first? Is it last? Well, I'm going to go first. I mean, Exo did say my memory has been wiped, and I've been through this before. He mentioned that off, 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 outside of my logs, but there we are. Okay, let's have a look at this. Have you seen the Crimson Knight? Yes, just in that abandoned building a moment ago. Yes, I have. I definitely have. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Alert, alert, what have I done? Okay, I'm guessing that you're not a fan, Mr. Alien Rock, of this um, anomaly. And it looks like the anomaly actually interfered with that communication bridge. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I went over to and I dug up one of those yellow um, badges and I found this, which is a buried cache. And inside the buried cache, I found something awesome that's worth a lot of cash. It's lot, worth a lot of units. There you go, look at that. Pretty expensive half. And yeah, and also by the uh, yellow badge that I mentioned earlier, it looks like one of those uh, data badges things. There you go, look at that. I got myself a bone, which is worth loads, which is excellent, eh? Get all my units back from those um, 
those circuit boards. Anyway, I think I'm about done for this episode, chums. I've had a splendid time, and I hope you have too. So yeah, I hope to see all of you guys out there next time. And until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And I want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody that's watching. And please hit that notification bell. I want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody over on Patreon. Thank you, Patreons! And yes, I also want to thank everybody on YouTube membership. You get awesome emojis for the live chat. Heck yes. If you wish to back my channel in another way, you can always grab yourself some fine and dandy merch over on the merch store, or I have 3D printed items on my eBay store, or just hit one of these tiles on this screen here and stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer.